Hey, so you're considering a move to North Idaho and you are wondering what's going on in the real estate market up here right now. So we're going to jump in and give you that market update for February 2024. Here we go. Uh, looking at some of the stats. Well, so we'll hit these stats up and then we'll uh, break it down and give you our opinion on it because we are both full-time realtors here in North Idaho. Uh, active listings currently on the market, 1,333. That is up 19% from last year. New listings in February, 497. That is up 15%. Sold 285. That is up 11%. Um, let's jump into some of the median List price will be uh, currently 600000 and that is down 7% from last year at this time. Median sale price, 495000 That is up just a little bit at 3%. And the median days on the market, so how long those houses are sitting on the market before selling is currently 88 days. And that's kind of a surprise for some people um, because some of these lower-priced homes, if you price them correctly, they're selling as Dave did really recently fast. within a couple of days. Um, so the median days on market is up 7% from last year and the absorption rate. So that's the uh, month's supply of inventory. That is at 3.69. It's kind of been hovering in that three to 4% range the last few months. And that is up 33% from last year. So interesting statistics. Uh, we'll break that down a little bit. Dave, I'm sure we'll jump in. Yeah, no, it's uh, for for coming off of February and into March right now. I mean, it's just starting to get warm and the market is really, really moving. I mean, I've been here since five o'clock this morning because there is a, a lot of activity and a lot of things that we're trying to catch up on. Um, we are getting back to, you know, we talk about 88 days on the market. If it's the right house and it's priced right, um, we just had a listing over here on 14th Street. Uh, we were under contract in less than 48 hours. So uh, if you price it right, um, the nice homes, the ones that people want, they're going to go quickly. So make sure you're pre-approved. Make sure you have your ducks in a row. Um, we would love to be your first call to help you find a lender. But the truth is that that is your first step to make sure that you have all your finances in line. Um, because ultimately, I mean, we're waiting on another offer this morning for a house that had three offers on it. It's been on the market for four days. We had to offer $25,000 over asking. Nobody wants to go back to that, but the right house is priced right. They're getting a lot of attention. So we'll find out today if we got that one. Um, but the only reason we even had a chance is because we were extremely aggressive on getting in there to get the offer done. Um, I think we had 50 minutes is what I was told when we left the, wow. when I called the agent, he said, you have 50 minutes to get me an offer. So um, if I don't have pre-approvals, if I don't have your finances in line and we don't have that stuff together, then it decreases our chances to be aggressive for you. So um, like anything, just make sure if you want to know well ahead of time, it's never too early to start asking questions to figure out what you need to do so you're in the best spot to get the home when it comes around. And if you're sitting on the sidelines, uh, no pressure, but you might want to start moving sooner than later. Things like, as Dave said, things are moving really fast up here for this time of year. Uh, we are very both very surprised at what's going on. We've been agents here in the area for uh, several years now, and it's uh, abnormal, I would say. So I think spring, summertime is going to be bananas up here, uh, unfortunately, right? That makes it kind of challenging and it makes a competitive market. But as Dave said, that's when it's important to dive in and get that pre-approval, have the conversation with us so we can get you in the calendar and start looking for that right home for you. Now is the time to do that. Do not wait until summertime. And also just to bring up something we were just talking about, um, the crash, right? The big crash that's going to happen and everybody's talking about, and I'm waiting for that home prices to come down. Here's what I'll tell you. There's two ways to look at a home. There's looking at it as an investment, which investors, you need to be smart and you're probably way smarter than us. You're going to be timing certain things in the market and that's for an investment purpose. And then the other way is to look at it for your family and your home. If you're looking to buy a home, the time is based off of when it's right for you, not based off of what the market is doing. Um, you know, everybody talks about a crash. If we go back to 2006, 2008, uh, I bought my house right before the crash, got to watch it, you know, decrease in value. But here's the thing. When I go to all these, um, these classes and these market statistics and analysis, and you see the trends, the fact is over five years, just about every home will gain value. And if, and I, I, my mind was blown. I'm just going to bring this up real fast. When we talk about crashes, um, when I went to a market analysis, uh, class and they showed us the statistics and they drew the line on the increasing value of properties, they had the, the crash in 2006 or is it 2008? One, I get them confused around that time. They had the crash in there. 
And they showed that if you could go back and look in time at the very height, right before it crashed, if you had the opportunity to go back then and buy all the houses, even at the highest peak right there, you would have made a ton of money. The point is there's too much inflation right now in the market. Um, and that's going to continue as, as long as they just keep printing money. And that's why a gallon of gas isn't going to go down and why a gallon of milk isn't going to go down. So um, if you're looking to invest as a family, talk to us because uh, it's got to be right for you. But waiting for the market, it's a gambling game. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it is. And uh, simple supply and demand. Um, that inventory is going up slightly, but it's still not keeping up with the demand. I kid you not. We get multiple calls, texts, and emails every single day uh, from people looking to move here. So, And that's just our team. There are over a thousand agents in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, we happen to be the best ones, of course, but yes. there are others. Um, so the point being that demand is out there. The more dumb laws that people try to pass, like uh, Gavin Newsom in California trying to tax you for leaving the state, things like that, As the more that happens Suck and it's it, continuing to happen. Really? <laughs> You're going to be fired up over Gavin Newsom <laughs> I know. today. Uh, it's going to drive more people to move to places like Idaho, North Idaho in particular. So, um, you know, if you're on the fence and you and you want to make that move because it's important to raise your family in a place with values that are, you know, old school and, a, and just a good community, then you need to make the move quicker and you need to figure out how to do it. First step, give us a call. Mm -hmm.